our topic for today is creating and applying styles. Paragraphs play different roles in our documents. We use different kinds of paragraphs such as a title, headings, subheadings, or picture captions to help our readers make sense of our documents. In Microsoft Word, a style is a collection of formatting instructions. You use styles to format the paragraphs in your document. Built-in styles are combinations of formatting characteristics that you can apply to text to quickly change its appearance. It is a great way to save time and create consistent documents. So for now, I'll show you how to use styles. So when you open your document, we need to check if it uses short band paper because that's the standard required by APA format. So first, we need to go to layout, page setup, margin should be one in all sides. But if the instructor asks you to use 1.5 in the left margin, then you can change it. But for now, we're going to use one in all sides. For your paper, we need to use short band paper. So that's why we need to change the height. We need to make sure that the height is 11. Okay. Then highlight all the text in your document by pressing Control A to highlight or select all the texts. Go to Home tab. We're going to change the font to Times New Roman. That's 12. For paragraph, the spacing should be zeros in all sides. Then double. Okay. So for now, we're going to change the style so that we will have a preset styles. Go to styles. This dialog box will appear. We're going to click manage styles. Go to Heading 1, Modify, Be Consistent with the Formatting. So for now, we're going to use Times New Roman or whatever the font your instructor required you to use. That's 12, Bold, Automatic, Center, Double Space. Okay. For Heading 2, we're going to modify it for our subsection in our chapters. Times New Roman, 12, bold, automatic. This time, we're going to use left align, double space. Okay. For heading 3, sometimes our chapters have subsections in it. So, we're going to change Heading 3, Modify, Times New Roman, 12, Bold, Block, Left Align, Double Space, and we're going to indent it. Okay. So, for the body of our document, we need to find or use List Paragraph. Select List Paragraph, Modify. So, Times New Roman for consistency, 12, automatic, left align, double, and we're just going to remove the indention. But if the, if the teacher asks you to indent your work, so just click this one. But for now, we're not going to indent it. Okay. Okay, that's it. So, one of the requirements in APA format is to place the title and the name of the author in the first page of your work. So, that this abstract will be placed in the second page, we're going to press Control enter for page break. Control enter Please avoid pressing the Enter key again and again 
that's wrong. So we need to use page break. So highlight the title. We give, we're going to give emphasis to it, bold. And together with the author's name, we're going to place it at the center of our document. So let's proceed with abstract. Highlight the word abstract, press heading 1. Then highlight all the contents or body of your abstract. Go to Home tab. We're going to select Least Paragraph. So we're going to inspect the body of our abstract. Go back to the first word in each paragraph. Then press tab, or you may use the indention in the ruler of your document to move it. So we're going to inspect if there are problems. Okay, that's for our abstract. So chapter 1 should be placed in another page. Control enter for our page break. Then, highlight chapter 1 introduction. This is heading 2 because it belongs in chapter uh, heading 1. Heading 1. Introduction. Highlight the body of chapter 1 until you can find a subsection. Then, select least paragraph let's inspect the body of our introduction so go back in every each paragraph you can press tab or you can use the indention or the ruler to indent every other paragraph okay then, background of the study. Background of the study is a subsection of our chapter 1. So, that is heading 2. Then, highlight the body of heading, uh, background of the study. Then, select least paragraph. We're going to inspect the body of background of the study. Then, press tab in each paragraph. In every new paragraph. Tab. Then assumptions and limitations is another subsection in our chapter 1. So that is heading 2. Then we have assumptions. Assumptions is a subsection of assumptions and limitations. So we can we may be able uh, we may use chapter heading 3 for that. Heading 3. So highlight the body of assumptions. We're going to use this paragraph for that. Then tab. Highlight the body of assumptions. Then move it so that it can be easily or it can be noticeable that this body is part of assumptions. Same goes with limitations. Highlight the word limitations, then select heading 3. Highlight the body of limitations, least paragraph, tab. Highlight the body of limitations, then we're going to indent them. Okay, for chapter 2, chapter 2 should be placed in another sheet. So, control, enter. Literature review, chapter 2. This is heading 1. Highlight the body of chapter 2. This is list paragraph. Inspect the body. If there is a need for us to improve the format, don't forget to press tab in every first paragraph or any, every paragraph. Okay. 
then this is heading to highlight the body then this is least paragraph then we need to indent by pressing tab or moving the indention using our using our ruler okay that's it for now so we need to inspect again if there will be more changes or more additional formatting in our work okay that's it for now bye